Hey guys, here I am, Jeanette Barber, Daily Woody in Central Park, the epicenter. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I enjoy the music. Listen, uh, could you believe how much I was touching my face yesterday? I just, and I didn't even notice it until I looked at the, uh, the, the video. So I thought the best way to start out today's Woody would be to say goodbye, because <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die if I can't stop doing it. So, I guess, I guess what I would say is one of the best things about crisis is that it will bring out the best in you and it will bring out your creativity uh, and you will have to solve a problem in a creative way instead of just going to the store and buy something, you know what I mean? So, uh, I decided, I, I think for the good of all of us, I need to invent a face condom because it is honestly the only way I think we can survive this. So, um, I, I worked on a, a prototype. I, I worked on it all night and uh, it's not quite done, but I think I got something that might work. Yeah. You see, if I just do this, then I am completely free to touch my face. You know, I can scratch my nose. I can, I can do whatever I need to do, except, uh, I haven't quite worked out the asphyxiation part. I think that part's gonna need a little work. But uh, but the thought is there, I think. And we can call it 50 Shades of Red, because that's gonna, you know, that's, and I ruined my lipstick too. Uh, I will just fix that. So, uh, I don't know, but I, I can't stop touching myself. And when I say self, um, you know, because that's what it is. It's, uh, uh, you know, touch your head, touch your shoulder, touch yourself. <laughs> so we're not touching ourselves, this is a family woody. Um, but it's really, really hard not to touch your face. I'll tell you. That does not uh, interfere with the family part. That is, uh, a makeup artist told me uh, you could do that so you don't get lipstick on your teeth. Um, not that you guys wouldn't tell me, but you can't, because <laughs> we're not live. Um, I better put my glasses back on, although I gotta get more uh, where you can see my eyes, because I know that's important to you. Uh, so, here in New York, the crisis continues. I can't stop eating. That's the crisis. I can't stop eating. I, 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 am, I am swelling. I can see it happen at night. I feel, honestly, like I have become bread. Uh, and you know, the punching down doesn't work. I don't know what, I can't stop. Uh, I can't stop eating. Last night was very uh, upsetting because uh, I discovered that my bed sheets don't fit. And uh, I sat down on my mattress and, and screamed for mercy. Oh, maybe that's why I haven't been able to sleep. Ooh, see, something good. Um, I think there's a good chance by the end of the week, cows are going to come into my kitchen, uh, stand in front of the freezer, and scream, let my people go, because I can't stop eating. My only comfort in all of this is that nobody can stop eating. So we're all going to be fat. So it evens out. See, that's, that's the interesting thing about a global crisis. Nobody's going to have any money. We're all going to be incredibly fat. So uh, with bad hair. So, uh, and really over grown cuticles. God, I sound hot. Um, I've always enjoyed that part of myself. Um, uh, so, hmm. we got lots of spider comments. I think it's funny. Some, uh, sometimes uh, we'll say something here on the Woody. Do I have stuff on my teeth now? Um, and, uh, and and everybody had something uh, to say about uh, that. Oh, new uh, Woody title shout out. Uh, Heike Vogel Smith. She's my arachnophobia friend. So she and I are like this. Uh, so many people, but are horrified by spiders. Uh, I do want to uh, give Fran a temporary Woody title called uh, The Big Fibber, because she wrote down and said that that spider was the size of a pea. So I don't know where she's buying her peas. You know, Ch Chernobyl, I'm pretty sure, is the shopping center that she likes, because that thing was gigantic. It, it left tracks. I'm pretty sure it stole my snow boots. It's gigantic. So horrifying. She'd probably get along really well with Julie Baitner. Did you see what she put on the, in the comments? She used to have uh, a pet tarantula. She's against eating them, which I think we all have to, uh, you know, don't want to dull the carving knife, but she had a pet and she named him Doobie. Last time I had a Doobie, it did not have eight legs. So in my world, it was much more enjoyable. Uh, 
one time I was in Rwanda and I had to go, we were, we were walking out to see somebody that had been at the hospital. She was going home from the hospital because I was with Medical Missions for Children and they did the facial surgery. And we had to walk across a banana plantation. And as, just as we start to walk in, uh, the guy that was with us, the, uh, the uh, Rwandan guy uh, says, and this is a direct quote, he says, be careful of the tarantulas. I, I would need clarification on how exactly you could be careful of tarantulas falling on your head from a banana plantation, uh, from a banana tree. So if you have a any ideas on that, by all means, please do a tutorial because I don't know how you do that. You know, you could open up your uh, lean-to, uh, as uh, we call them from Eddie, but the very idea of having 10-pound tarantulas hit me in the Mary Poppins is beyond, I would never sleep again for the rest of my life. Honestly, what I did, I was wearing a skirt. I used to always wear dresses. And I lifted uh, my skirt as high as it would go and ran as fast as I could to get across that thing. I think there's just something really primal uh, about the fear of spiders. Did you see what uh, Cheryl, I was calling her Cheryl Weimer Brown, uh, Woody Title Fiber Friend. It's Cheryl Weimer Brown. Uh, and she put under it uh, uh, in the comments, if you need to kill a spider, her suggestion is gasoline in a match or uh, a backhoe. So I think that's very good advice. But she learned the hard way because uh, she told me later um, uh, in a message that uh, one time she had a spider on her front porch uh, in her tote bag. And that part was confusing because it wasn't really explained why she needed a tote bag to carry uh, the spider because, you know, most of us can just carry them in our hair. But uh, that's how big this, uh, I'm, I'm picturing basketball. Uh, and so she runs in the house and gets two cans of whatever you kill spiders with, you know, I'm pretty sure hydrochloric acid, you know, whatever it takes. And, uh, oh, what a cute child. Um, apparently someone just sprayed it with, anyway. Uh, and then she wants it to die, so she goes in her house and gets binoculars to look at it out the window, which made it the size of Julie's pet. So it's a good thing she came up with gasoline and a backhoe. So uh, I'm impressed by that, and I think it's very helpful to the rest of us. So thank you, Cheryl. Uh, other mistakes I made. Uh, oh, Patrick Lynch had a mistake. He does not call this Irish Nana uh, Flab. He calls it Irish Nana Blubber. So. That certainly makes me feel prettier. Me and my arm flat friend, whose name is Jean, not Joan. That was another one of my mistakes. And I've been saying uh, Lelia, who brought up the whole spider thing, not Lelia, her name is Leela. So I have lots of mistakes, but it happens. It just happens. I'm just gonna kind of make that my thing. That's my brand. <laughs> I like to make mistakes. Um, oh good, aren't they cute? No, honestly, it's just, I just keep talking about a virus. I am not good with children. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm sure it's not doing anything. I think they're supposed to scream like that. But, yeah, no. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm a little closer up because I wanted to sit in front of the flowers. So I thought that would be nice. Uh, in a news flash, I have a new crush. I do, This does not threaten my boyfriend who doesn't know me, Andrew Cuomo. But, uh, and nor am I uh, at all threatened by those other bitches because I mean, he's got to be nice to them, but I know how he feels, but quite honestly, he's busy and he has to save the world. Uh, my new crush is someone who knows me and who you guys know, I am getting a crush on Joe, the total package Stanford. Did you see the picture he put on my Facebook page? Him and Mrs. Beasley wearing matching glasses, I swear to God. And Mrs. Beasley is adorable. That doll from a family uh, family affair, I think it was. Um, Mrs. Beasley is adorable, but she can't hold a candle to Joe the Total Package Stanford. So, and his hair, he's got blonde hair, and it kind of goes out like this. I don't know. Uh, he said he does it with, or maybe it goes that way. Um, he says he does it with paste. Uh, I mean, you know, hair paste, not flour and water, which is way too Marie Antoinette, but uh, paste. So, and, and he says to me, use paste. So. I've got some somewhere, so uh, well, someday this week I'm gonna come out and see whether or not I can do something with paste. Um, Woody, uh, Woody Titles, I'm running out of time. Uh, Tressa Chapman Harris, she's my Canadian cousin. And uh, Sylvie Car Carrier Carter, she's second cousin. Uh, May Them Loesch, Woody no name, because she couldn't think of a name, which I thought was quite creative. Uh, Susan McCabe is my cat nut friend. Um, and we got a lot of cat nuts, uh, I'm sure, but she is my official friend. Uh, Lynn Cohen, hey sister, go sister, soul sister. Uh, share it if you like it, see you tomorrow.